In this video, we're going to introduce the notion of Taylor and Maclaurin polynomials. So suppose you have a function, f of x, and your function is differentiable. Let's actually assume that it has n derivatives. So you can just keep taking the derivative, you know, n times, or maybe just as many times as you like. So you can just keep differentiating this, and there is no issue at all. And we're going to define the following polynomial. So p sub n of x is equal to f of c, here c is a number, plus f prime of c times x minus c plus f double prime of c times x minus c squared over 2 factorial, you might say, what? And I do have this memorized, and I'll, and I'll show you how. Uh, and then f triple prime of c, you see the pattern, second derivative, third derivative. The next one, if you guess it, it's going to be a 3, and then here you get 3 factorial. Plus dot dot dot, it goes all the way to the nth derivative. So I'm going to use parentheses here to indicate it's a derivative over n factorial. And then this is x minus c to the n. So this thing, this is called the nth Taylor polynomial for your function at c. So this is the nth Taylor polynomial. So Taylor polynomial for f at x equals c. So what is this for, and why would we ever create something like this? This is actually really powerful and extremely important in mathematics. So this thing can be used to approximate our function. So in theory, or in, in, in practice, it actually does work, um, p sub n of x is approximately equal to f of x when x is close to c. Okay, so, so it's an approximation for your function close to c. Okay, the higher you go in order, like the higher degree you go in theory, the better approximation you get, but the more work it takes, right? It's, it's a lot more work to go uh, further out. If c is equal to 0, we get p sub n of x equals, let's rewrite it all, we would just get f of c plus f prime of c. Oh, but it's not f of c, it's f of 0, f prime of 0. And then we would get x minus 0, so just x plus f double prime of 0 over 2 factorial times x squared, right? All the c's up here are zeros, etc. all the way to the nth derivative at 0 over n factorial, x to the n. This one is special. So whenever c is equal to 0, you call it the Maclaurin polynomial. So this is the nth Maclaurin polynomial. So Maclaurin polynomial. And again, this is used for approximations. So in this case, um, this is approximately equal to f of x whenever x is close to 0. So, so the Maclaurin polynomial is the Taylor polynomial at 0. It's, it's the same thing, except it's just a special case uh, when it's equal to um, 0. So let's go ahead and do an example. And I'd like to do a, a good example. Let's do one where we actually apply this uh, in some way. So let's do an actual approximation example. So let's see. Say we have uh, the function f of x equals e to the 2x. Okay, that's our function. And we're going to find the third Mac poly. I'll, I'll spell it Maclaurin polynomial. And then we're going to approximate, we're going to use the polynomial to actually do an actual approximation. We're going to approximate f of 
Okay. All right, so let's do it. So solution. So I like to do it in steps. So basically, whenever you're finding a McLaurin or Taylor, just think about how many derivatives you need. We're doing the third McLaurin polynomial, the third degree polynomial. So we need three derivatives here. So let's go ahead and write everything down. So we have f of x, that's equal to e to the 2x. Okay, and let's take the derivative. We have f prime of x. So that'll be e to the 2x times 2, because the chain rule, so 2 e to the 2x. Then we have f double prime of x. Kind of fun, I haven't done one of these in a while. Uh, the derivative of e to the 2x is 2 e to the 2x. So this is going to give us uh, 4 e to the 2x. And then f triple prime of x, third derivative, because it's third McLaurin poly. So that's going to be e to the 2x times 2. So, uh, so 2 times 4 is 8, so 8 e to the 2x. And then I draw a line here, and then I just plug in c. So it's a McLaurin poly, so c is going to be 0. So let's go ahead and plug in 0 into all of these. So f of 0 is going to be e to the 0, which is 1 f prime of 0, it's 2 times e to the 0, so it's just 2, and f double prime of 0 is 4 times e to the 0, so that's just going to be 4, and f triple prime of 0 is 8 times e to the 0, so just 8. All right, so now that we have all of this, we can go ahead and write the formula down. So for the third McLaurin poly, it'll just be f of 0, right, and then plus f prime of 0, and then it's x minus 0, so we just put x, plus f double prime of 0, this one gets divided by 2 factorial, notice the factorial matches the derivative, then x squared, plus f triple prime of 0 over 3 factorial x cube. So now we just plug everything in. So let's see, we have p sub n of x. So let's see, f of 0 is 1, so that's good. Progress, <laughs> 1 down, plus f prime of 0 is 2, so we get 2x. f double prime of 0 is 4, so we get, I'll write it, 4 over 2 factorial, x squared. f triple prime of 0 is 8, so plus 8 over 3 factorial, which is 6. I'll go ahead and skip a step there. 3 factorial is 6. So p sub n of x is equal to 1 plus 2x. 4 over 2 factorial is 2, so we get 2x squared. And 8 over 6 is uh, 4 over 3, so plus 4 over 3x cubed. So this would be the answer. This would be the third um, order or third degree McLaurin polynomial. So, so now we're going we're gonna to make an extra step just to show you what this is for. We're going to approximate f of 0.1. So let's do that uh, up here. So let me just make sure it was f of 0.1. Yep, f of 0.1. Okay, good. So to approximate f of 0.1, note that p sub n of 0.1 is approximately equal to f of 0.1. And the reason this is true is because 0.1 is close to 0, and p sub n approximates f uh, whenever x is close to 0, because this is the McLaurin poly. If it was like a Taylor poly at 3, we couldn't do this. We couldn't approximate 0.1 very well, but we could approximate 3.1, right? And so it approximates any number close to c. In this case, c is 0, so this bad boy will approximate f always when we're close to 0. Okay, so to find p sub n of 0.1, all we do is plug it in. So let's do that. So this is 1 plus 2 times 0.1 plus 2 times 0.1 squared plus 4 thirds times 0.1 cubed. And I'm just going to briefly type this into my calculator. So it's 1 plus 2 times 0.1 plus 2 times uh, 0.1 squared plus 4 thirds times uh, 0.1, whoops, 0.1 cubed, 0.1 cubed. All right, here we go, moment of truth. At 1.2, I'm going to write it down to like a bunch of decimals. This is 1.221, and it's got a bunch of threes. 
Um, I, I don't know how many threes I should put. I'll put two threes. Okay, and he keeps going forever with the threes. So that's the answer. That's the approximation of f of 0.1. Now, if you actually work out f of 0.1 using a calculator, you would get e to the 2 times 0.1, right? f of x was e to the 2x, yep. So if you put this in your calculator, you'll notice, uh, we'll see how good we did. Let's see how, how pro our calculus is. So this is approximately equal to 1.221 for... And I'm going to go, how many decimals? I have five decimals here, so I'll go to five in my calculator. So zero, actually. So this is the actual value. So this is the actual. And this is the approximation. So that's pretty cool. You know, we, 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 we use these ridiculous polynomials to make an approximation. Um, there's a nice way to memorize the formula, and if it's not clear, you just go up, right? So first derivative, second derivative, third derivative. But watch this. There's really a zero factorial here, and there's really a one factorial here, because this f is the zeroth derivative. So you have the zero factorial, and you have an x minus c to the zero here, but that's one, so it doesn't show up. And notice there's a one here as well. So everything uh, works out nicely. I hope this video uh, has been helpful. So and hopefully. Uh, now you can do these problems, and now you know what it's for. You know what uh, these polynomials are for. They're for uh, approximations. Until next time, take care.